I'm just going to explain in the best way I know how to uh, about lawful rebellion and uh, what I've been doing like the free man movement and uh, the most effective way I've found of uh, dealing with uh, debt collectors and parking tickets and uh, I understand it also works with court summons and um, council tax, um, water bills um, as far as I know um, so um, please correct me if I'm wrong So, because I don't want to be giving out disinformation or wrong information I can only tell you what I've been doing um, I've been doing this for about a year now so uh, you know you can write notices that's all great you, can, you should you should understand what the words mean and get yourself a, a law dictionary like so you can see that and uh, start reading the definitions this one's uh, the ninth the ninth edition um, most people recommend uh, the second third fourth edition um, I've got a copy of the first and second edition on the computer but um, it's just easier to refer to that one than it is to keep dragging it up on the computer but uh, I double check and you know you can use a uh, Wikipedia or whatever there's uh, good dictionaries online law dictionaries as well um, so make sure you know what the words mean if you're writing notices that's the first thing but you know saying that you don't have to write notices and I haven't been writing notices for you know about you know good eight months now what I've been doing um, is uh, doing a no contract return to sender so this is uh, this is my no contract return to sender you can see that there so any letter I get from debt collectors this is a debt collector one Uh, any letter I, I receive from the debt collectors or uh, parking notices or water bill um, I just uh, write on it this one says no contract return to sender um, it's paid with God's love also put on there Google Holly Greg because I think that's an important story to get out so I put that on there um, making sure that uh, you know anyone who reads that might Google Holly Greg. So uh, we put some legal maxims on the letter as well, um, just to just to show that we you know we we sort of know what we're talking about. <laughs> we know we know a little bit. And um, this one's uh, equality before the law. Um, usually put um, is paramount and mandatory. Um, we are all equal, government agents included. It means no one, including Equid Debt, that's the debt collectors trying to make demands upon us, um, can make a demand upon me everything must be offers in a common law jurisdiction and you know if you claim a common law jurisdiction you know you'll 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 be in a common law jurisdiction if you don't claim it they assume that you're you know you're operating on a, you know maritime admiralty law which is the law of the sea as far as i'm aware you know um let me know if i'm wrong also another legal maxim and uh, no one can do through another what he cannot do by himself so basically if the original creditor they're claiming um, the original creditor um, being the bank could not um, get the money then you know they can't do it through another third party uh, you know debt collector in this in this um, circumstance so um, that's another useful uh, legal maxim then there's there's thousands of maxims and uh, you know you can look that a lot of them make sense some of them don't but it depends uh, you know also let them know that they're a third party interloper and uh, you know they have we have no contract with them also uh, about eight months been doing this with uh, with everything so not been to court yet not heard anything from anyone no one's come round they have no debt collectors on the door um, waiting for that to happen but it hasn't happened yet um, also um, yes another thing is that we just to show you we got a parking parking notice from uh, Islington, as we had a gig in London the other day. Um, it was a charity gig, so we, we gave our time for charity. We end up getting a how much is this? It's a hundred and twenty pound fine parking ticket. If you pay it before the, the date it is uh, shown, um, you can pay sixty pound. For um, it says here. Um, 
parked with one or more wheels over the footpath on any part of the um, or any part other than uh, the carriageway. So basically, it was a narrow street. If we didn't park on the side of the road, um, no other cars would be able to get down the street. So we would have caused uh, a blockage there. Um, this was at um, ten to nine at night. Um, so there weren't no pedestrians walking across the like, on the path. So it's a bit crazy. There's no point appealing because you know you probably won't you won't win your appeal or a challenge or whatever. So uh, the best thing to do is to ignore ignore all of that bullshit on the back. Um, you can either wait for the the notice to the owner to come through and you can send it back. No contract return to sender, like we do. Nice colourful letters there. Or you can just uh, you can write a notice responding to this. Or what I think we're going to do on this one is we're just going to send it back. No contract return to sender. Yeah, no contract return to sender. And uh, any letter, any other letters that we get from from that um, or notices, because you have to respond to the notice. If you don't respond, uh, you're implying a contract. You're you're um, you're acquiescing to their demands. You're not you're not stating your case. So if you just send it back with no contract on it. They know that you're not playing. You're not playing their game. It seems to be working uh, for us at the moment. So, um, if anyone has any experience on that, uh, let us know. Let us know if, it, if you've been doing the no contract return to sender and have been summons to court, and how that went, or uh, you know, you've had um, bailiffs or debt collectors knocking at your door as well by using this method. We haven't, uh, as it stands at the moment. So we're waiting for that. Obviously. Uh, if that happens, it'll all be caught on camera, and we'll be uh, we'll be putting it on YouTube so you can see what happens. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's that for for the time being. Yes, yes, hello, sorry, what was your name? My name's Linda. Linda, hello, Linda. Um, I received a letter today. Um, I, I suppose I best give you the the payment reference. You can send your name, address, and telephone. Um, the name the name on the letter is uh, Mr. Direct Hallen. Okay, let's have a look. And okay, what's your name, sir? Um, I am me. You're Mr. Direct Allen, are you? I am me. So you, you are me? So you're you are you, I am me. Um, anyway, the, 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 the letter says that um, I've agreed to pay. Um, uh, it says, uh, despite our previous correspondence sent directly to you, um, we still do not appear to have received any money, even though, um, even though you've agreed to pay. Um, but um, I'm not aware that I have ever agreed to pay. So can I, can you please send that in writing um, and that signed contract with uh, yourselves that I've agreed to pay? Is that possible? So you're saying that you haven't agreed to pay anything at all? Well, I haven't agreed. Have you got any proof that I've agreed? Let me just have a look. Um, right, so what date is that letter you've got there, sir? Uh, the date on the letter is the 25th of June. So you've spoken to somebody since then, have you? Sorry? Have you spoken to somebody recently? No, you're the first person I've spoken to um, about this letter that I received today. You've spoken to several times here, haven't you, sir, already? I, I've spoken to a few people, but... Um, right, before we continue, I need you to confirm with me what your name is, first of all. Um, um, how are you going to confirm what my name is? You, I have no identification I can show you. I mean, right. I could tell you anything. Right. We've had mail here returned, gone away. So who's returned the mail, gone away? Sorry, say that again, say that letters here returned stating no longer at that address. Um, no one's put they're no longer at this address. No contract. Just, uh, re just returned your letters um, stating there's no contract with yourselves um, and with no one no one has agreed to, to, to pay any money and, unless you've got any evidence of um, the agreement, like a signed contract or something of that sort. Um, then I, I suggest uh, you stop sending letters. I mean, I spoke to... will be stopped sending being sent to that address, so I can assure you now. It will be stopped sending, because I've, I've been okay. assured before by uh, Colin Harris. I mean, I've had it, um, I've got it um, recorded um, for evidence, so he's, he's he assured me that we'd stop sending letters, but I've, I've received two more after he's assured me that I wouldn't. Oh, well, it definitely has been. We have got a return, now we return, gone away, and it's still been closed down. There'll be no monitors to your address, sir. So that's the end of the matter, is that? That's right, sir. So so there's no there's no payment required? No sir. Okay, thank you very much.